Hello guys, I am Nee, and today, I'm finally doing it, I'm going to talk about Auto Table, made by Diamond, link will be in the description. Uh, trying to explain this with words is pretty hard, because some people have asked me how to do this, and it's like, I, I don't know how to explain it, you kind of just do it. So, first thing you want to do, you can do this in Mogis, you can do this in Wars, obviously, is after whatever teams are made, like for example, you know, you just want to just copy that to the scoreboard command and then fucking get the table out. Get the table out. You want to get this, you want to do the scoreboard command, get this. Alright, I'm actually going to empty. All this. I'm just gonna, gonna refresh the page. <laughs> there you go. Your just won't look like this. It'll probably be like empty. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to put the uh, the scoreboard command thing there, <laughs> and then you want to go ahead and hit fix table, or you you know put tax first and then fix table. It really for me it doesn't matter but, but US. I'm actually doing this for uh, USA versus UK practice or the cast we're streaming right now yeah fuck it space UK yeah that's what I did I'm also at the flags but like if you really care about flags go for you put your host FC here you don't really have to do this at the moment I think this is actually kind of bugged because whenever you do it it'll give you over on five page but it's like that's not it <laughs> it's like it's for getting one digit out of the Wii five page so you got to find the room manually now which you can get from the mk we x and yeah you got to do the mk we x because that's where it grabs its data from and then wow it works now uh usually for mogis you just want to if you're in the mogi you just want to type cr and then the room will come up that you're in. When all twelve player when all twelve players are in the room. Or you could type it manually. Like for this situation, I'm gonna just type it manually. Yeah, Sammer. Yeah, Matt. And then boom. I just finished the race. Be sure on the insert room URL you hit move from above. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. And I'm pretty sure that that's pretty much it. You have it all set up. And all you have to do is at the end of every race, you just have to hit this one button. <clears throat> you hit this button. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Race didn't start yet. Obviously, when a race is done, it'll say, like, blah, 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 status 12 out of 12, or whatever the fuck, race, whatever. But since we're doing this for the war they're currently playing, I think they just finished race 3? Or is this GP1? I don't fucking know. Well, so we'll do race three. So when you want to do, uh, <laughs> in case you miss races, you can just go down here, click <laughs> table with room data URL, not accurate. It's fine. It works fine. But you got to be sure to swap room type. It, it says it right here. But, you know, who wants to fucking read? You can just say swap room type and then just boom. And then bam, wow, magic scores. And then, uh, for whatever reason, if someone were to DC, you can just... If someone DCs during the race, when you submit the thing, it'll say 11 out of 11. You don't want it to say 11 out of 11, because if he's on results, it, it like shows the, resu the scoreboard will put results for an 11-player room instead of uh, 12 players or 10 players, whatever the fuck you're doing. As you can see, UK is currently winning. Wait... Okay, I'm just making sure it's race four. It might be. Is it race four? First is GP two. I'm retarded. We're gonna, we're gonna hit the, we're gonna undo all that. Okay, <laughs> they're on race. They're, they're on GP two. 
Don't mind me. There we go. It even puts the lines for you, dude. So yeah, you know, it does that. And then I'm going to wait for them to finish the race. And then I'll do it. And then I'll show you what you're actually supposed to do with it. You could ignore this. It's suicide bagging. It works fine. Like, even if someone has anti-cheat, it still gets to the correct positions. And if someone were to DC, they would appear here. And then you can just type their name here. And then just, like, it add the DC list. And you see it goes down to 11 players. And then... While their names type, you can like you know at three, at fifteen, at eighteen. If they DC, you can also remove them from the DC list. You can also you can also rename them if they get subbed out. But like for subs, it gets a little bit more complicated because you gotta put. Well, I mean, as long as you know like on the final table that you make, how many GPs that player who subbed out played, and how many races the player who subbed in played, it should work fine. All right, they're finishing the race. So, let's probably root up again. As you can see, it won't go through until all 10 players have crossed. Or until the race is concluded. So, USS, you got a pretty good race. <laughs> Shout out to Casparinos. <laughs> False advertisement. And then boom, it does it. Now it's like, are they a top three? Six. <laughs> Not bad. And yeah. That's that's pretty much it. You do that every race and this should work. Uh, sometimes if it glitches out, it will glitch out. Like if someone DCs or... Yeah, someone DCs. But like, I don't know why. Like when someone DCs... Sometimes the race won't end, even though you're, like, in the next race. Sometimes you just got to take a picture and do the score manually for that race. Or you can just wait and do it for the entire GP so it doesn't, like, so you don't, like, fuck up anybody's scores. Which is probably easier to do than this. But, you know, not everybody wants to take GP picks. Holy shit, can Ken court 50 GP1? What a fucking god. Wait, Neo scored 11 GP1? What a fucking god. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, trying to think what else. For I mean, I guess for I don't know what else to say. I think I think I, think I covered everything, right? I did. I think I covered DCs. <laughs> they DC just add their name to the DC race. If multiple people DC, you can, you know, you can just do that and then do like, yeah, any we. Boom, and you just do that. Pretty simple stuff. I don't know what else to say. You don't, for whatever reason, you really don't need to do hit this one. Because I don't know what else. I don't, it's no reason to. You can undo anything. Like the race you just did. Like if, not, like if you fucked up. Like if someone DC'd, but you forgot to put that they DC'd. Oh, if they... Okay, so when they DC during the race, you just hit you hit that to make sure that there's 12 on results or whatever, how many players are on results. Unless it's 11. Or, oh, well, never mind. Ignore that. So, yeah. If someone DCs, for sure, you can hit 12 or 10 or whatever. How many people are in the fucking room? It just should work fine. It'll just give the person who is in the room the last... And then if there's more than one person, then the other person will get 11th. You know, that's, that's pretty much it, I'm pretty sure. Most of the time you do this when Nora's starting with BC, we know. Okay, I thought she was behind, I guess not. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. You could fuck with the color code, I guess. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter. No, uh, yeah. I don't know why I typed that in all caps, but uh, yeah, that, that that's that's pretty much it. I hope I explained this really well. If I didn't, just tell me in the comments or PM me on Discord if you know my Discord. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. See ya.